Only a person that's um, living by faith can benefit from a 2,000-year-old miracle. Amen. See, it really kind of shows, can you be benefited by it? Well, then you're operating by faith. Otherwise, see, it, I can see how it would lead to, you know, people being disinterested because they don't see what the application. What's, what does that mean to me? Maybe a history lesson. When you see that it's the same God that's connected with that miracle, that performed that miracle, can also work both to will and to do in your life. Amen. Well, now it's more applicable. I like this um, exhortation to be aware of the signs of the times. Now, we live... It's my aim in this exhortation to make us more aware of where, where we're at. We're in a special time. We're in a time, from one standpoint, you could say we're in a time of trouble since the world's never known. We have, here we have the professed church that doesn't know God. That's the time we're living in. We're living, you just turn on the radio. Just turn on something and listen to what religious people are saying. You see, he said, don't, don't measure the outer court. Because it was given unto the Gentiles. Yeah. He said they would trample it underfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, the approach, the way to God has been all muddied up. Mm -hmm. This is a special time. The time of trouble. Time mm -hmm. of trouble. Well, we don't want to be unaware of that. See, this, what, going into this, being unaware, now Jesus said in Matthew 24, he told us. What did he tell us? He said, take heed that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. Well, we, that's, that's a time of trouble. There, there's men out there that would deceive you. Now, there's one thing to be deceived and to buy property in Florida that ends up being a swamp land. Well, you know, you were still deceived. You still purchased it. You still wasted your resources. But it's temporal anyway, so you can get over that. But when you're deceived in eternal matters, when you've purchased something that was sold as eternal but ends up being temporal. Well, now, so you, you've actually you've made a shipwreck of the faith. Well, let's not do that. See? Now, Jesus said, take heed. Which means that be aware of this. Be aware that there's people out there that are going to mm -hmm. say things yes. to trick you, to trick you into believing things about God that aren't true. In the same chapter, he goes over a lot of different... I mean, he, he says that, and then he enters into all this discourse about the, the ten virgins and about the signs of the times about his coming. You know, he, did this, he says over and over, you, you read the words of Jesus, he'll say things, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the truth. There shall be weeping. Mm -hmm. Now, he's keep, he's keep, over and over, he keeps reminding us he says, what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. Mm -hmm. why, why is he so, is this like this, this is the gentle Savior. Yes, and we're going to meet him face to face. Mm -hmm. This encounter is going to happen. He knows that. Mm -hmm. He knows that there's going to come a time when we are going to have to present ourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. More precisely, he's going to present us. Yes. If you're in the faith anymore. We're going to come face to face with this one that sits on the throne. What are we going to do then? He says, I've told you beforehand. See? He's, he he's wants us to be aware, to be conscious, be aware of this at all times. Mm -hmm. That at any moment, he could come, it's lightning. It's like it comes from the east to the west. It's just, just, just that quick. Just in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. He could just appear. Well, see, we're, this is what we hope for. This is the hope of the church. The hope, they say, this is the one that we waited for. He'll save us. Mm -hmm. but see, this is, how did you get to that point? You were watching. See, you, had, you washed your robes and you made them white in the blood of the Lamb. This, um, this didn't come without preparation. If you look at the, 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 the he talks about the ten virgins. So some of them were wise and some of them were foolish. There was preparation involved. Why did they prepare themselves? They knew that, they knew that he was coming. Mm -hmm. They knew there was going to come a time. So they were watching. They received the exhortation. Well, this is, um, we're living right now in, in, in one sense, in the greatest time there ever was. Mm -hmm. 
and the greatest time. We're living in the day of the open heavens. Mm -hmm. God yes. is, is manifesting himself in such a way as he never has. You, you, you can be a part of it. See, this is, this is the, the thing we, we don't want to miss. It's not just bad things we're trying to stay away from. How do you get away from them? By involving yourself in the better things. Yes. See, by seeing him on his throne and, and, and the things that he's administering from the throne, things he's giving people, what things he wants to give us. He wants to give us of himself right now. That's what the age we're living in. We're not living in a time when he said, shut up the words of the prophecy. Yes. Paul said, well, this is where we're living. We're living in a time where it's been opened up. Amen. You can come confidently into the throne of grace. Can you imagine saying that, relating that to Daniel? Say, Daniel, I made a way you can come right into the throne room. Oh, he wanted to know. He wanted to know. You know, he said, many prophets have desired to look into the things that you can see right now. He said, they couldn't. Well, we can't. They just make advantage of it. Let's take advantage of what God's given us in the throne room. Oh. Well, knowing the terror of the Lord, see, why, why is it that every chance you get, you just keep talking about Jesus? Because we know the terror of the Lord. We know yeah. that there's a time when yeah. He's going to shut to the door. Yes. Amen. Salvation's the time of salvation. There's a time of salvation mm -hmm. is going to end. And no one not one is going to get in after that door shut. Since we know that, what do we do? We persuade men. Paul, he says, uh, he, pre he was on the initiative to make all men see. Why? Because he saw that that's what God had given him grace to do. Yes. So, whatever God's given us grace to do, whatever he's shown us, it's not merely for our own personal growth, although Amen. it is. It's not merely for that. And what he's done in this assembly, uh, I'm going to Bring this right down close to home. What he's done right here is for a reason. The reason is, is that we'll proclaim what God's done in the Son. Mm -hmm. This is it. See, now the message that we have, this is authenticated, the message. Mm -hmm. What are we preaching? We're preaching Christ and Him crucified. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's, um, he's proved, see, that our message is true. This is good thing. This is good or good things. Knowing that we shall stand before God's throne, he says, watch. Be ready. Mm -hmm. be, always, be always be ready to give an answer. Mm -hmm. Well, this was, these are good words tonight. And um, this exhortation is more to the heart. I mean, you can't... When you get the saints and you get them up way high and you get them in the throne room already, well, <laughs> the exhortation's <laughs> got to be upward. It can't be done. <laughs> it's been good for us. Thank you.